Long time no see, right? My bad. I don't even want to say anything because I want to get through this video, but I will tell you after I'm done and then I'll just edit it in and then everything will be great. Michelle, why are there 500 heads of hair behind you? Well, today I wanted to talk about my friends who have been there for me through humidity, through frizz, through bad haircuts, questionable 3 a.m. decisions when it comes to scissors and my hair, my wig. So yeah, it's been a long journey. I've been on this natural hair journey for too long, apparently. I've been growing out my hair for blah, blah, blah amount of years. I was probably a year or two, two years into my natural journey and then finding the world of wigs was like a whole new world. A whole new world. That's when I realized I could neglect doing my hair. And my hair was nourished and it was thriving you know so i loved wigs you could get away with wearing beautiful bright pop colors without any damage to your hair you can match them with your outfits with your shoes with your contacts and this is a wow african wig and i don't even know how old that video is but the cap construction everything is held up this wig has been fried dyed and blow dried and the hair quality is beautiful most of the wigs that i have have a lot of years attached to them that's all because of the quality of the hair for one and also the way that you store them these are great for displaying your wigs they come out the package like this and then you just assemble them okay. and then you place this crown piece on top I was so I was inspired to do this video by Raven Elise and she said she had ten thousand dollars worth of wigs in her possession and I don't even I wouldn't even begin to start calculating how many wigs that I have and the amount of each one because it's seriously ridiculous I was going through washing each one of the wigs that I own the curly ones I let air dry because I didn't want to you know mess up the integrity of their curl pattern and then I would put them in a hairnet and I bought these uh, bags that have this adhesive seal on them and in they went and then I would close it up and they would all be labeled curly straight clearly the blonde ones you could see through the clear packaging but I couldn't tell when I had the straights and the short ones together if this was a long straight wig or if this was a short straight wig and I really had to go through and categorize everything it was a labor of love but today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful wig from All African it is the TLW 23 and this is her fresh out the package. Like I lied, I already cut the lace. Because I don't like cutting the lace on camera. Because everybody knows how to cut lace. Do, 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 do. Use some scissors. This beauty, she was already, her, like her hairline was already plucked so pretty. I was like, I'm just gonna plop this on. She's, whoa, she's got pretty waves. And I'm ready to dive in. Hello darkness, my old I'm gonna be real lazy and literally just twist my hair backwards and hopefully it all fits under my wig cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her on but I'm going to show you guys the cap construction. Super stretchy, super comfortable. You have all this lace space, all this lace space and you can wear it glueless because it comes with this adjustable strap if you want added comfort and then the two I'm not doing and then the two adjustable straps in the back because I'm going to go glueless today. So we put her on. Like it's gonna be a to oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's on my head. And she feels good. Now that it's on. And that's what I love because as soon as you put them on, they already look good. So it's already been pre-plucked. Got some skills. And I'm gonna cut all of this. Side to side and then back and forth. Up all night again, me and you. Left and right and then whoa, whoa, oh, oh. Up and down, side to side and then back and forth. You know, edges are like a delicate art. They need balance. Feng Shui. Let's Feng Shui some edges. Ta-da! Boom, you're done. Plop it on your head. It's glueless. I can lift it off, take it off, and I don't have to worry about any glue because of all the security that's built into this cap. 
but I think I'm going to define my part a little bit more whilst we chat. What's a good part? I have accumulated quite the collection of wigs. Okay, I've got a wig for every occasion, birthdays, bar mitzvahs. I am adding a little bit of mousse so I can bring out that wavy curl pattern because I was gonna curl it, but then it will look completely different than the picture. So I'm just gonna scrunch it up so it dries. And then once it's a little bit more dry, I will comb it out so that the curl pattern can be a lot more um, pronounced. Why not go down memory lane and talk about some of the lovely beauties that I have behind me. Of course I have too many to display on this little itty bitty table that I stole from my husband's garage. Each one holds a special place in my heart. This one was when I think my appreciation and my loves for Bob's started. And the video I did for this was just a little bit, but so far so good. I love the color. It's just like BAM! one I wore in a video that was very recent and I fell in love with the shape and the cut. I have so many beautiful angular bobs and I love how I didn't feel her on my neck so I wasn't constantly brushing hair away and it was just a beautiful nice cute wig to wear and not have to worry about my hair and not have to worry about it floating off into the deep sea because that bowl of food is no joke. This is my friend Italian Yaki and she's my favorite hair in the world. You want to know why? Because she's the closest to my natural blown out texture. I wish. If I had five times the amount of hair on my head that this wig does, I would be in heaven and I wouldn't wear wigs. That's a lie. I would wear wigs because I would still have to do my hair, which I don't like doing. But anyway, this is the wig that I wore in my video where I first moved into this house. Yes, this is the wig that I was wearing when I was so excited about this room because it was going to be the first time that I had a filming room dedicated to myself and it was always going to be my sanctuary and totally never be a nursery in the next two years. See how it's drying? Wave it. Oh yeah. Great curling art this is. Hot tools leading the way. Just one curl. Here's one of my bodacious blondes that I rarely wear because of its length. Okay. And because of its brightness, it does attract a lot of attention. So ladies, if you're looking to get noticed, and you want to get hollered at by 100 people, put this on your head before you go to Walmart. <laughs> Look at that dimension. Beautiful! This was like a little purple moment we had with Justin Sky when she was out and was inspired by her. I wore it in this video right here. I'm feeling it and I really do feel like a teenager with this hair, even though I might not look like it, honey. It doesn't matter what you look like, it matters what you feel is on the inside. Drink some green juice. I have never gotten over the color purple. The color purple is my favorite color. It's like the, one of the first colors I ever dyed my hair after I went natural, so I'm pretty partial to it. She still has all her shine and I believe this wig is about three years old. Another asymmetrical but yeah, unfortunately I can't go walking down memory lane with each of one of my beauties. Even though I would love to. It just wouldn't be enough time in the day. How can I forget you? This wig, so long. Um, if I'm going to be hanging up my wigs in my closet, I use this nifty needle device. Hangs in your closet, air dries, boom, put it right next to your dress, outfit. We're still a glueless gang gang. And like I said, this is the TW23, 14 inches, wavy, add a little curl. Didn't have to do that. It looked good as soon as I put it on. I love you, wig. She didn't talk, it's a wig. So anyway, this is just a testament to the great quality of these wigs. Every wig that you've ever seen me wear in a video, I have still, I've washed it, I've taken care of it. I haven't killed it like I used to kill my old wigs back in the day. I take much better care of my wigs and that is the way that you're going to not have tears in your lace. You're not gonna see excessive shedding. You're gonna see your curls pop like this after they've been flattened in a box somewhere for years and they just pop back up, so. Excellent quality, right? We stand, we don't have money to be thrown away. It's an investment. I'm gonna put a little bit of found powder foundation right on here, because I want it to cover. See how that blends a little bit better? And after you add that on, voila, c'est magnifique. Thank you guys so much for hanging around and watching my video. Sorry. Okay, we got to the end. This camera sucks. 
I don't know what happened to this camera. It has gone downhill so bad. It's literally like, I don't even know how old it is. It's probably like four years old, but it literally kept dying on me. And every single time I would start to film a video, get all set up, it would like start blinking or it would just, I would turn it off and the screen would still be showing that it was on. It was possessed. I'm getting a brand new camera tomorrow. A Canon, so I won't have to deal with all the issues. I literally can't take pictures on this camera anymore. I gotta use my Canon to take pictures, so I had to film with this camera, edit on my laptop, then take pictures with the can. It was too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's completely irrelevant, but I just wanted to tell you why I've been struggling to get these videos out on time. Thank you for those who stick around and watch the whole video. For me talking about these wigs that I have, I have no, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them all. I'm just gonna keep taking good care of them and read the bedtime stories at night, okay? Because I love them. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye!